this time I would like to show you one of the top pieces of my Militaria collection, a very nice example of a Hungarian World War II tunic. This kind of jacket is called the M1939. This is an officer's jacket, worn in the field and the parades too, with different hats, trousers and food gear of course. Well, the main characteristics of this model are the following. This actual tunic is made from worsted wool. Its color is the so-called field brown, that is a greenish brown color, a kind of olive. The M1939 tunics are made with fold down collars that also have the collar patches showing branch colors and the rank of the owner. This one belonged to a colonel of the motorized transport corps. Rank is shown by three six-pointed stars on gold soutache. Branch color is kaffi brown. I might make another video sometime in the future in which I'm gonna show and explain all the branch colors used in the Hungarian army during the Horthy era. Let's go on. You can see five buttons on the front side, 21.8 millimeters each. This is the medium size uh, of the buttons used in this era, depicting the sacred crown of Hungary. There are two pockets on the chest part and two on the sides, all covered with a concave rounded lid, each cover buttoned down by the same sized buttons. There is one shoulder cord on each shoulder, fixed by two 15mm crowned buttons. Under these cords, there's usually a stripe of cloth, same color as the branch color. These pieces of clothes might be missing at some tunics, uh, or differ in color, but this doesn't mean they are fake or uh, later production. The sleeves have uh, three small buttons on each side. Let's check the back side, though there aren't so much interesting details. The only thing that might catch our sight is that it's split once in the middle. Back to the front side. This tunic has no loops for badges, but it is nice to know that sports badges and field officers badges were usually worn on the right chest pocket. The badges of the Order of Vites were worn on the left pocket at the same height. This is all I can tell you about this tunic in general. Let me tell you about this uh, actual tunic. This one belonged to Colonel Gustav Ivani of the Transport Corps. The jacket has his own awards, though two or three are missing. His highest decoration was the third class of the Order of the Iron Crown, an Austro-Hungarian award. That is the one of the two that is absent. The next one is nicely visible. That is a Knight's Cross of the Hungarian Order of Merit on green ribbon. That means it's not a wartime award. After that one comes another monarchy decoration, the Military Merit Cross. The next one is missing. There should have been a silver military merit medal with a repeat clasp and swords. That's very hard to get one. The following part of the decorations is full. Bronze Military Merit Medal is the next one. The Bronze Merit Medal on Military Ribbon is the next one. Then a Karl Troops Cross. Then a Wounded Medal signing one wartime wound. The next one is the Hungarian War Commemorative Medal with swords. Then comes an uh, Officer's Service Cross Second Class. Then three other commemorative medals. The first one for reannexion of East Transylvania. That's a Hungarian uh, Hortiera Award. The one before the last and the last one are two monarchy decorations. The Austrian commemorative medal and the Bulgarian commemorative medal from uh, World War One. 